Hello everyone, Jason or Lords of War. Uh, I hope everyone's uh, enjoying the ice cold weather. <laughs> it is, uh, we're in a bit of a cold snap, which uh, I guess we were due for, considering this winter has been pretty mild, I would say, so far. Um, anyway, uh, today is my Rise of Champions Escalation uh, hobby update for, what is it today, January 15th? Um, like I said, Mentor showed previously a I've been working on uh, the Stormcast Vigilers. I've got one. I think last time I posted a photo, they were just primed black. Uh, so I've got one. Kind of done. Um, uh, not too bad. I, I think generally pretty happy with it. Um, you'll notice they're uh, extremely shiny, um, as in the armor. So these guys, I, uh, I as, as with any time, you know, sometimes there's projects that come along that you want to just try, like a really new or different uh, hobby material maybe you're not used to. So in this case, I've been using um, Green Stuff World makes a uh, extremely shiny chrome um, airbrush paint. Um, they have a hand paint as well, but uh, the airbrush paint is, is I found easiest to use. You can see what, what the raw kind of, uh, just it airbrushed on looks like. It's it's like mega chrome, like like a toy. Maybe like a cheap toy might look, which I know doesn't sound great, but um, once you kind of yeah, in the camera can't even focus on it well because <laughs> it's just like it's too reflective. Um, so in its raw form, it looks a little wacky, but once you paint the rest of the model and maybe apply a few washes, I found the uh, Games Workshop Nuln Oil Gloss was a good wash for it because it wouldn't dull the sheen too much and it would still go in and shade nicely and just kind of give it go in and, and, and just sit nicely in, in the little divots and things like that and uh, I found that worked quite well um, just trying to see if I can find the jar I used don't know quite where I put it somewhere around here so I could show you um, but uh, you can see it on our website too it's just uh, or, or on the green stuff it's just called like literally chrome airbrush or something like that it comes in a, in a small jar of the size of uh, of Leo or AK or whatever. Um, one thing to note with that paint, it is alcohol based, so you will need to use a different um, thinner for it. You need to use something like uh, well, out of the jar, it's kind of ready to go. But if you need to clean your airbrush or clean up a, a brush or whatever, they have a brush on, but I didn't like it as much. Um, you need you need something like this, like this Tamiya thinner or whatever, or just I guess isopropyl or something, some kind of alcohol. To, uh, to clean that up, which because uh, I made the mistake of uh, going straight to using the hand brush a little bit, and I was like, oh my, you know, the paint is drying instantly, and then I went to like wash it with water, and I was like, this doesn't, and it just got like, I turned into a clump, <laughs> a gooey clump, and then I used some airbrush cleaner, still, I was like, oh, it's still a clump, and then I tried some spirits, still, still a clump, and I'm like, then I finally was like, you know, I should read the jar, <laughs> the instructions, and they're like, oh, it's alcohol based, so then I knew what I was into, so. Um, either way, um, so moving along, so I've got the, the one finished, uh, the other thing I did on uh, the base, um, just little doodads and things, and I got some little twigs and leaves, um, oh, my friend John printed up for me, so, um, so those are good, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping to finish these ten, it's two units of five actually, um, in the, in the next week, um, they're all kind of... You know, I'm just going color by color, I'm highlighting some gold, um, cleaning up their uh, their uh, robes and, and or whatever they're wearing, various cloth and things like that. It gets a little too um, messy with the wash because I kind of just slammed it on. So small things like that, not too many faces. A lot of them have like rubber gloves or not rubber, sorry, leather gloves, things like that. I chose to pick things that were like quick and easy to do, like you know, rather than skin on their hands for example it's just reducing the number of steps in the color palette down to just like you know a couple browns for the cloaks then i kind of have the same brown for like bowstrings and quiver or arrows that is and and then same with leather belts and gloves so we you, you kind of like reduce the the complicated stuff and just make it so your palette's just like maybe five or six total colors and you just kind of go through them so um so that's going well on the uh, 40k side, not haven't gone too too far. I think I'm kind of trying to divide and conquer, pick things that I can finish quickly. So for there, Morton Vol, um, pretty well started. Like 
you know, all the metals are down and I've done some shading. So I'm in a stage where I'm actually, this model's ready to be like highlighted and, and detailed. So, and, and then I got to paint the, the head kind of a little bit better. She's got some hair and stuff that I need to work on. But overall, you know, this, this is like maybe uh, hopefully one or two nights from being done, which is great because she's 250 points or so. <laughs> there you go. Um, and uh, so maybe if I can get these dudes done in the next week, there's another uh, two Stormcast and a Bolt Thrower and then another uh, a Leader and a couple of Griff Hounds like that. That hopefully can also get banged out um, fast. And then, uh, and then I can paint 40k for maybe another week or two and, and you know, have two 750 point armies done. I don't think I'll finish in the quite in the first phase. We'll see. I might bleed in the second phase, but uh, phase two is, I think, kind of easier because you're you're not doing. You're, I mean, you're doing a third of what you did in the previous phase. So you know, you know, oftentimes you can just add one unit or maybe another hero or a tank or a, or a, or a small monster or whatever. So you know, for the Stormcast, it'll be easy. It'll add like one or two of their chariots on the battle sister side mm, more war suits i don't know <laughs> i don't know yet um i may pivot and do a third small force depending on when the uh, eldar come out uh cause it sounds like they're coming also kind of by around that time so uh exciting things um as for in the store what's new um, I think we've been talking about it a lot. You, you may have seen pictures or maybe we've done some videos of, of some of the new hobby products that we have that we've been kind of um, trying and using and, and, and explaining. So you probably heard us um, on a little bit about two of these. I'm gonna reinforce it again because they are quite good and you should check them out. Talk about the dry brush paints that we got from uh, MIG, MIG Productions. Chris has been using these on his uh, Seraphon a little bit, and, uh, and I've had a few customers pick up jars, and, and, and the feedback is great. You know, the paint is, uh, you know, unlike the Citadel dry brush paint, which is a good product as well, um, I like that these are kind of liquid. They're, they don't, they're not a globby solid thing or whatever in the jar. They're, they're like still liquid, but just thick enough that they're easy to use, um, and they dry brush really nicely. The colors work well. They're all light. Um, Fast all colors, so meant to, to really highlight. Um, you get a good bang for the buck. It's a large jar. I think they're 30 mils or whatever, maybe more. I can't remember exactly. What does it say? 40 mils. So that's actually really good. That's uh, for eight bucks. You're getting I don't know three and a half times what you usually usually get in one of the smaller jars. So we're only like a dollar or two more. So um, definitely, definitely check those out. Whether it's whether you're big into dry brushing or you you want that couple of colors for your basing I've, I've had a few work players really jump on it for their vehicles they have metallic ones here at the bottom there's like uh golds and silvers um just to make painting all those uh trucks <laughs> and stuff like that just that much faster and uh yeah so for sure i highly recommend um picking some of these up unfortunately there's no like sets but uh you know maybe maybe if you're already got an order going you just grab a couple or whatever to, to try out so uh, along with those also, um, if you haven't gotten your Artistopus brush sets, as you can see, we have a gaping hole here. Uh, we just ordered more. So there will be uh, a big restock of that in probably a couple of weeks, probably two, three weeks. Um, still have lots of individual brushes, still have dry brushes. Um, but uh, a lot of people like the sets. Obviously, they were a big, big, big time hit on the, during the holidays. Um, a small restock of Green Stuff World, too. We got more of these. I can't seem to keep these on the shelf. These are the uh, really cost-effective, uh, handy paint racks. If you have tons of the, um, Leo slash AK slash, you know, tall nozzle dropper bottle. Um, that's for that, stores that up nicely. And then, uh, yeah, over here. So yeah, the, uh, you've probably seen these as well. So we have the, the, uh, these are, these are jars of shade. You can pour in your airbrush and go. Really useful, do just the right amount of shading um don't need to thin or do anything they don't run or do any funny things when they come out of your airbrush and they add nice subtle uh shadows um to your models and, and again we've been trying those and, and we like them um and then down here are the uh, oil brushers so this is like the uh it's like an oil paint kind of with an applicator all in contained in a, in a single um 
jar thing. And uh, what's the beauty of it is, is yeah, you just you basically apply some in the cracks and, and or areas you want shadows, and then you can take a bit of uh, some white spirits uh, on, a, on a synthetic brush and, and clean it up, or fan it out, or blend it, or whatever you need to do with it. So. Um, these are really popular because of just lack of like it's just easy to use and you don't need to um, mix have any extra jars because usually when you work with oil paint you need extra there's more cleanup you just have more dishes and things you got to set up to, to, to like you know you need an extra dish of like white spirits just to go and clean your brush between colors and um, then you might put the oil paint in another dish and mix and thin that and, and uh, anyway it's just all this extra extra stuff um, so these are great because they have it all um, contained in one space and uh, you just apply it on and then uh, and, and, uh, fan it out as needed so the greatest panel liners um, you know sh shading crevices you can pin wash with them uh, they have like a palette of uh, streaking grime um, all in all I've been very very happy with everything uh, all of these and we've been implementing them in our projects lately and, and everyone seems to be uh, enjoying them a lot so um, make sure you grab those uh, also today or i guess this weekend is going to be the uh, custodes and g circle books uh and carts uh custodes are going to run out imminently uh g circles we still have some um so yeah fantastic books i think we may still have one uh, one or at least at least one of those combo boxes that had the uh they could do custod and gene circle guy in it along with uh, cost savings and models. So grab that before it's gone if you're going to do them. And then uh, what do we have? I think next week is the Fire Slayer Deepkin combo box and tower right around the corner. They're looking really juicy. So lots of, lots coming out now. Now that like the Christmas break and, and winter break is kind of paused and, and whatnot. Um, gaming is still paused in the store due to restrictions and, and Omicron and whatnot. But uh, you know, the just following the news and things. You know, we're hoping maybe uh, in in a, you know, maybe we'll see. Sounds like maybe by the end of the month, you know, uh, things go the way everyone hopes. Um, we'll see about that. Um, and and due to that, we had our uh, for flesh and blood. We had our uh, welcome to wraith or sorry farewell to welcome to wraith event. Uh, we basically pushed it back a week to. Uh, to see hopefully if maybe by then we can have people in um so um other than that we've got lots of stock of uh everything except arcane rising yeah so you can still get uh wraith tales and monarch um and uh, we have another surprise coming uh soon hopefully we'll be able to tell you about it next week so anyway hope everyone enjoys uh the weather and their weekend um you know it looks out the window it looks pretty nice um, but it is ice cold out, so yeah, stay warm. Um, you know, I don't know, stay in, work on your projects, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks.